Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Ray Room Show. And we're playing with this USB soldering iron. And I went off camera and tried to figure out how to get it to come on. Supposedly, this is, and let me zoom in here. This is a touch switch here, meaning you just the capacitance from your finger should turn this on or off. I could not get that to work. I could, however, get it to work by unplugging and plugging in this cable. So if I plug this in, let me turn my power pack on. And the little red light is now on, means meaning it's on. I'm drawing 1.5 amps at 5 volts. And let me grab that little piece of solder. Where'd that go? Oh, geez. oh, here it is. And let's see if it actually will melt solder. Yes, it does. Whoops, cut off camera. It does melt solder. So it is heating up. But the switch, now the light has gone off. And it's not drawing power. So does that mean because I take my finger off the switch, it went off? Okay, I put my finger back on the switch, and my power pack is still on because I got 5 volts, but I cannot get it to turn on. And now my power pack went off. Okay, I cannot get it to turn on just touching that. There, I got it to turn on. Okay, so it's on right now. Now, if I stay away from that switch, I don't touch that little dot there. Let me see if it stays on. I'll give it um, 30 seconds. Somebody counting? It went off. So now, does that mean I have to keep my finger on it to keep it on? Let me see if I can get it to come back on. Okay, I'll put my finger on it and I'll hold it there. And see if the light comes on. And the light's not on, and the power pack's going to shut off pretty soon because it has no current draw. So I don't know what that's all about. So the power pack went off now. We turn the power pack back on. It's not drawing any current. It's not coming on. Let me see if I can tap it to come on. Nope. There, there, finally, after tapping it about five times, it came on. Now let's see how long it stays on. And we'll verify with some solder. Yeah, it's on. And let me see if it stays on. Power pack is still putting out 1.5 amps. And I'm going to keep my finger on that little button there to... Nope, it went off. Goes off for about 30 seconds. I don't know. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Um, let me try one more thing. Is I'll take my USB measuring device out of line and power this in directly. Now, each time um, I was watching the voltage coming out of the power pack and it was still sitting at 5 volts and this thing shut off. Okay, let me make sure the power pack is on and we'll tap this thing a couple of times see if we can get it to come on. Nope, nope. Still not coming on. I'll push and hold. And I shouldn't say push because I'm not really pushing. I'm just putting my finger on there. This doesn't appear to be an on-off push type button. It appears to be capacitive. And I don't know what the secret is to get it to come on. My power pack probably went off again. Okay, so, so much for that. Let me unplug. And I also, like I said before, I can plug and unplug this once my power pack is on. And it will come on. 
And I'll just hold it like this so I don't touch the button. And let's see how long it stays on. Now, like I can say, when that light was off, it was drawing no power. So it wasn't like it's waiting for the heating element to get hot enough. It went off by itself. So I think this is a fail. Uh, one other thing I want to show you, let me unplug this, turn my power pack off, is I thought about taking this apart. It's got one, two, three screws. And... Before I unscrewed those three screws, I was going to take the tip off. Let me see if this is cooled down. It's still pretty hot. Um, because this thing right here will unscrew and move up. Can't do it right now because it's, oh, ouch, the, hot, the tip is still hot. And so I unscrewed this to see if, you know, I can get into this part here. So I unscrewed this because it appears this to be replaceable, which makes sense. So I unscrewed that, and let me use my shirt here, see if I can unscrew it without burning myself. Okay, so this, this unscrews and moves. So therefore, you would assume that you can remove this tip and put a new tip in. Well, let me see if this will slide off. Yes, it did slide off. Okay. Still hot. So I went to pull this out, the tip itself. I went to pull it out, and down in here where it goes into the base was what looked like corrosion. It was uh, kind of a white, yellow crystals. And... The more I tried to pull it out, the more it was exposed. And it really looked nasty down in there. Um, let me see if I can use my shirt and pull it out. It doesn't come out easy. Okay, there's... I've got it partially pulled out, and I've zoomed in as close as I can. No, I, I can go a little more on the zoom. Please give you a max zoom here and then see if I can get it to focus. Not really in focus. But anyway, down there at the base of that thing, you can see these white crystals. Similar to the crystals you see when a alkaline battery leaks. And it's all crudded up down in there. So... This particular one has two fails. The on-off switch doesn't seem, doesn't seem to have no instructions, doesn't seem to work properly. This crud that's down in there, that doesn't look too good either. I'm sure it's not supposed to be there. And why it corroded like that so soon? I mean, it looks, it doesn't look used. It looks brand new. Although, now, I did notice, and I mentioned in the previous video, the tip was not totally clean. It had a little bit of residue solder on it. Like, maybe this is a return. Could be this is a return because of the fact the switch didn't work. So, did I get a return? I'm thinking I got a return uh, used soldering iron. So even though the soldering iron is only six ninety nine or five ninety nine on Banggood, I can't really recommend it. Quality is just not there. Although it looks the construction looks pretty good. And it's got the little uh C E stamp on it. Can't read Can't read the numbers. Oh I think it says five volts six watts what it's rated at and it does appear when it's on it does uh, at least met, melt the solder within oh 10 or 15 seconds so probably not worth trying to get a refund I'll, I'll see if I can get a replacement and maybe this was like I say 
It was a return, and it, you know, appeared looking at it like it was brand new, but when that tip had some residue solder on it, and then this crud here, yeah, it's a fail right now. I can see, you can even see little pieces of that white stuff on my pad there. Anyway, that's the show. I wouldn't recommend this. I don't think it's a good idea anyway to try to do soldering from a USB supply. The concept is mm, viable. You know, maybe if, um, you know, it's $6. It's $6, so it's cheap. Doesn't cost you much. And if it, if you get a working one and you have to do emergency repairs, it's probably be viable. If you're away from your shop, it's probably be viable. And you could have a battery pack like this one here. Let me zoom back out. It might be viable. But this particular one is a fail. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Bye-bye.